Hi everyone, this is attempt number three. I've attempted to record two videos already. Uh, first time the game crashed, the second time my entire PC crashed. So let's see if we can actually do something today. I'm going to try again in my hospital. Oh, it might have saved something yesterday. Uh, then again, maybe not. Let's just go back to that one. Oh, no, I don't want to delete it. Wrong button. Load. I have had my coffee this morning, I'm sure of it. See, the annoying thing about this is you can only do that with surgery. You cannot do that in any other department. Or if you can, I haven't found out how. Okay, this is my sandbox hospital. I've got my ambulance bay. I've got where emergency patients will be dropped off. This will be emergency area down here. And this will be doctor surgery. Also have the labs down here. And I did manage to fit in radiology or the x-rays of radiology down in this corner. So I'm going to try and put it back together again. Right, one of the one of the things I did do was I took that wall out. How many do I need? Five. And made that straight, because eventually, I expect, I will need more ambulance base. I hope. Right, so let's find that wall again. All the way up there. Alright, so first off we need a path. Uh, no, first I need a door so that I know where the path needs to go. Um, that looks about right. Right. Get a path. And seeing as these poor people are likely to be rather unwell. Uh, emergency department is normally red. There's the flowers, there they are. If they're conscious it gives them something nice to look at. this floor. That'll be the main entrance to the hospital. Um, I'm not going to bother with flowers right now over there. Okay, emergency. Now yesterday I tried something out and it worked, so I'm going to attempt to do it again. Right, nurse's station first. Right, a little bit away from... I need to give them space to be able to get everybody in. Alright, one, two, so that's eight. That's the nurses on call bit. And the doctors. Eight by eight, eight by eight. Now we will have observation going all the way down this side. And the trauma centre going down this side. Um, right. Corridor there. We'll just check a couple of stretches in there as well. We also need a um, common room. Staff need to rest too. Toilets. and a cleaning closet and then that bit turns into a corridor so that will be oh didn't want to do that get the hack on fix that up mm -hmm. 
There we go. So that will be our emergency department. Oh wait, the Cornish came open, didn't it? Okay, reception. Where are you? Uh -huh. I'll do that. Because I like having things sort of square. And I like the doctors to have enough room to sort of work. Mm, yeah, that should do. Right, this is just literally putting rooms in. Now I have kind of cheated with this one and in this sandbox mode I've chosen that it won't cost me anything to build. Eventually I will attempt doing builds with limited amounts of money but I wanted to sort of just play with it because I've only been playing this for about a week, I think, something like that. Alright, let's make the reception a little bit wider so that then the waiting room can go there. Have I missed anything? Got the waiting room, got the doctor's offices, got the reception, cleaning closets over by A&E. Um, no, I think I've got everything for that. Okay, so get the labs in. Need to make sure that these are big enough. How much have I got? 20. Oh, math skills, never a strong point. 20 divided by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So one room's going to be 6. Um, well, I want them big enough that I can put enough stuff in there that I can have a good couple of technologists running around. Right, waiting room. Everybody to get their results. And every different sort of area has their own common rooms, restrooms, corridors, cleaning closets, and the cleaners will only clean their department. So if I was to have, I have to have a cleaning closet for the laboratories, because otherwise nobody else I think will clean any of that. And the one place you really don't want to be dirty is where all your uh, tests are being done. Anyway, that's just me babbling on. Um, put in the common room first. Common room, um, cleaning closet. Doesn't really need to be that big, really. Hey, we're thinking about having a nice, busy hospital, so you never know. That there, that there, corridor. There we go. Oh, need to put the lifts in. Right. Oh, too big. Four by four. There we go. More space, and then another one. Just in case there are people going up uh, at the same time, people want to go down. Okay, so that is the laboratory department. Um, right, radiology. Might be able to fit another department downstairs, actually. I don't know. Let's have a look. What do we need? Need at least two x ray rooms. How much space have we got here? 21. Ah, that works for a change. Right. Let's have two x rays downstairs and one CT. Again, we need waiting rooms. everything downstairs then. Alright, so that's an MRI. What do I do with that? 
Plus 7 was nice, it wasn't. Seven. There we go. Cardiology. Car I can't say that. Cardiography unit. Sonography unit. I can say that. And CAG room. I don't. Coronary angio. Oh my goodness. Angiography is a medical technique also called. Oh my goodness. Big words that I cannot pronounce, basically. There's them. So we also need common room for these guys. And of course, cleaning closet, restrooms. There they are. And then corridor. Now I'm hoping all of this, as long as I don't put a. C oh my goodness, how much space have I got? Okay. I might even be able to fit in a whole other department downstairs. Hmm. Let's not worry about that just yet. What else have I actually got though? Intensive care, surgery, internal orthopedy, cardiology and neurology. All of them are sort of departments that have already had diagnoses. And they go for treatment. Hmm. Which one shall I put there? I don't know. Let's start building what we've got for the moment and then we'll worry about that later. Right, okay. I like to colour code. So, emergency department will be red. Oh wait, that's going to be a different colour, isn't it? <laughs> that's the histology department side of things, so that will be blue. Um, that will be blue. That will be red. Let's get rid of the walls for a minute so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So what I did yesterday was there will be no walls in the observation. Well, there will, but there won't be any walls surrounding observation trauma centre. Or the staff areas so that they can quickly get to whoever needs help. And of course, you'll have tiled rooms in the restrooms and the cleaning cupboard. Floors. I like having polka dots. Right, just in case, obviously this is an emergency department, let's have dark colours where the patients are likely to be. That way if they're going to bleed, it won't be so obvious. Um, we need tiles in there. See the annoying thing is there's no carpet. There's only lino, wood, tiles, white floor, I'd love a carpet. Because if you, you want to go take the weight off your feet, I'll walk on a nice soft carpet. Or is that just me? I don't know. Um, what colour shall I do there? Let's do the lighter. 
Yeah. Like red turned into pink. Let's give them. Oh, who's that in there? What's that? Black floor. Well, I suppose if it's night time and they need a quick nap. If they spill their coffee, you're not going to notice. Alright, doors. Let's put that there for emergency. Door with window. One into there. One into there. One into there. Alright, that's all the doors. You're not going to have windows on any... Well, actually no, you could have windows down here, couldn't you? blinds? I suppose if it gets too bright for the patients and you close the blinds. Right, one, two, one, two. And two. And obviously you're not going to have any windows on these walls because you're already indoors. Okay. I'm going to do a quick save here. There we go. That way if anything does happen, at least my uh, game will be saved. So, observation. And of course the joy of... Oh, no, I need bread. Having free building means I can have this looking... Amazing. Hopefully. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then that, no, I don't want one right next to the wall. And what else do they need? Life monitors, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, too far. Oh, wait, these can be color coded. probably learn as we go along that I'm a bit of a perfectionist and if it can be coded together I will do that. Um, Off-white. What does that actually change? Hmm. Sort of. I don't understand what that changes though. Because it looks exactly the same. Tray at the end of everybody's bed. Put a vase of flowers on there or something. Right, I said about walls, didn't I? So that everybody has some privacy. From whoever's next door, but also with nothing here, means that the doctors and nurses can keep an eye on everybody. Alright, what else do I need in here? Alright, you can have one of them. You can have that one. And I'm going to have one of them there as well. Get everybody clean. Oh, put some down this side. Oh, I can't because I put the window there, didn't I? Stick one of them to the window, are you? Right, we have our workstations. We have a couple of them. That's better. Hazard's bin. What else do I need here? Okay, so I still need an equipment cabinet. That can go next to a window. These aren't anything that's sort of light yellow, not necessarily needed, but I like having them. Looks a bit more like a hospital then. And medical lights. 
just in case anybody decides to be a bit naughty overnight. You know, have a heart attack or something like that. Um, right, stretches, stretches. They are in here, aren't they? That way they are out the way. Right, so that is the observation area complete and those walls offer a little bit of privacy. At least they can't see their next door neighbour. Who you never know. Could be more seriously hurt than them. How did I do that? Not accessible for patients. Well then how are they supposed to go? How did I do that? I've been wondering how to do that for days and now somehow I've done it without even realising it. Okay. No complaints either. Let's set up the desks. Alright, red, of course. One, two, three, four. So, have them oh, in the middle. I think that was a bit too close. Hang on. Seeing as they have pretty much the same things, the only thing different is the nurses have a couple of extra bits. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? There we go. Everybody needs a computer because that's how I hire my staff. This is literally all you need for the doctors. The computers, your desks, a chair to sit on. And printers. Or paper holders. I like to spread it around a bit. So that is literally the doctor's area sorted. And the nurse's area requires equipment tables. Oh, that's my phone going off. And let's pop some meal trays at the end of that one. And then other than the stretchers, which I've popped down here, I might pop a couple more actually. I can't remember which, ah uh, yeah, that way. There we go. That's them sorted. Next, I'm going to turn the screen a bit. Am I going to go the right way? Yes, I am. Why is that white? That won't white walls. Oh, red. There we go. Wait, does that mean that it's now red and... Oh no, it's still blue. Oh, okay. So now we are on to the trauma centre. I wonder how many of these I can fit in. Because they need a bit more room. Let's see how much this takes up first. Alright. What else do we need here? Medical lights. Right, I'm going to use operating room lights because they tend to be brighter. Oh, okay, if that's all they actually need, need. Put in a half wall there. Because then I've got somewhere to put some on the wall stuff. I think. There we go, that can go there. Oh, it will allow me to put it there. Mm, I suppose everybody would want the hazard bin nearby. 
just in case. Oh, too far. One, two, because we need the fast USG. What does that even stand for? Ultrasonography equipment. Hey, I said that first time. Basically, they can have a very quick look at what might be going on with the patient. in the way of the bed. Okay, I have to put that over this side then. It's in the way. Put that over here on the wall as well then. Oh, these walls are different as well. Oh wait, no, that's the tiled walls, isn't it? There we go, that's better. If I do it again. Right, those are all covered. Oh, that one isn't. Goodness me, I thought if you did this it would do both sides of the walls. I was obviously wrong. Right, have I got any other walls? No, because that would be whatever colour I choose for x-rays. I think that's all of the walls. Alright, let's go back to working out what I'm doing here. Alright, no mobile workstation yet. That's because I'm going to put in two like I did over this side. So now I just want to try and copy what I've done. Oh. Hmm, looks exactly the same. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. Anesthesia. And operating room. If I do each room sort of one thing at a time, I can make sure I'm remembering everything. I'm going to take one of them out, move that over actually, and do that. I haven't seen anything that you can put on a second one anyway, so. Am I missing anything? Kitchen sink? No, I don't need one of them yet. Right, got the defib, anesthesia, nope, I've got everything in there, okay. Let's keep toodling on. Right, one, two, three. Anesthesia, operating notes. One, two, three, four. And then I'll make this one similarly into another place for stretches. And yeah, I'm going to keep that as a li little bay just for stretches. 
and then considered changing it into a trauma, trauma room, but nah. Always got to be ready for the unexpected. Oh, missed one. There he is. What am I still missing? USGs. Okay, in the workstations. And some stretchers, which are part of that one. So that is our medical emergency area. Just enough time to quickly do these rooms as well. How on earth did I do that? Not accessible for patients. If anybody else is watching this and they've played this before and they know exactly know what I've done, please let me know. Because I don't have a clue what I've done. I've been wondering how to do that. Right, toilets. Should I have them that way or that way? How many people are really likely to be using the toilets in an emergency department? No, I'm not just leaving them out there like that. I am going to put walls around them. Sofa, come on. They take their uh, quick naps. Right, coffee machine, kitchen sink, bookcase for learning. In their spare time, they're in a hospital. Is there really such a thing as spare time when you work in a hospital? TV. There we go. There is, and that's it for today, our accident and emergency department, as we call it in the UK. Um, what do you call it elsewhere? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you're all well. Try and keep it that way, and I will see you again soon. Bye!